Hi everyone, Ron Kreider reporting for duty. It is August the 26th. It's Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. It's hard to believe. Where is this time going? It's day 164. I've done just about 164 of these. Uh, Somebody said the other day that, that no, you didn't do 164. You took a day off. Well, actually, I didn't take the day off, but I didn't get the numbers in when they came in, but I did some more that I didn't account for. So more or less, I did 164 of these pretty much continuously uh, since this pandemic started. I'm going back to 316, but I actually started around 310. Nonetheless, we're going to kind of zip through these things this morning because what's the most important part of this whole deal is doing the numbers for you. That's why we do this. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the beach market. Got some exciting news about the beach market and also about the Tides restaurant. But let me give you the numbers. Let's get those out of the way first. Then if you don't want to watch that stuff, if you don't live around here, then it doesn't mean anything to you anyway and you don't have to watch it. So let's talk about the numbers. Uh, you'll see here on the screen, over here and over here, the numbers are going to be up there in just a minute. There they go. Okay, good. Uh, good news is our deaths are down to 148 from 181 yesterday. That's, uh, that doesn't sound right, does it? It would say they're down to 148, and that's good news. Well, it's better news that they're not 181 and they're 148. But I, I want to get back into the single digits, and uh, you know this is not good at all. However, it is coming down. The uh, positives were up to uh, 3,220. Yesterday, they were 2,673. So just to make sure you get this clearly, 2,673 positives yesterday, and today there are 3,220. So they went up. So they're going to be in red. Uh, the deaths did come down from 181 to 148. That's for the entire state of Florida. Folks, I don't have any shout outs today uh, because I've been uh, busy running around grabbing video and some other things. So we're going to pop right into the weather. The weather for the Treasure Coast today is going to be uh, a high of about 89 degrees, partly cloudy, a stray shower or thunderstorm is possible, high 89. The winds uh, east at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then tonight, some clouds low about 79 degrees. The winds east at 10 to 15 miles per hour about 20% chance of rain tonight. And then tomorrow on Thursday, variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms, high 89, winds east, southeast, 10 to 15 miles per hour. And the chance of rain tonight is about 50%. There's a couple of things I didn't ask you to do, and one is to push the like button. Please look the, push the like button. I appreciate that very much. Also, I always say every day, don't forget to not, please don't be a COVID idiot. Please wear your mask. Please social distance. Let's try to get this thing over with as soon as possible. You really need to do that. Alrighty, folks. So we're really trucking along here quite quickly. We're only into this for like three minutes. Let's uh, quick like a flash go and do the uh, numbers. And then after the numbers, I'll give you a little information on the Tides restaurant and the beach market. Back in a flash. Hi, everyone. Back in a flash. Ron Kreider here with the numbers for Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, August the 26th. And uh, we have a little good news and a little bad news. First, let's start out with the good news. The total deaths reported in the past 24 hours for the entire state of Florida were 148. That's down from 181 yesterday. However, if you take a look at the new positives, they're up from 2673 to today in the past 24 hours, 3,220. Now that's for the entire state of Florida. I have also have a little bit of good news with the seven-day moving averages when we get there. Now, Dade County, that's Miami, 40 new deaths to report in the past 24 hours, 750 new positive cases. In Broward County, we have 299 new positives and 13 new deaths to report in the past 24 hours. Let's take a look at Palm Beach County. Palm Beach County reported 12 new deaths in the past 24 hours and 160 new positives. In Orange County, one new death was reported in the past 24 hours and 173 new positive. That's Orlando. We're keeping our eye on Orlando because of the uh, theme parks up there. However, we're getting out of the summer season, getting into the early fall. Kids are going back to school, so it's not as busy as it had been. 
Okay, let's take a look at Brevard County. That's Melbourne. Five new deaths to report in the past 24 hours and 68 new positives. St. Lucie County is Fort Pierce. Six new deaths to report in the past 24 hours and 53 new positives. Martin County is Stewart. One new death to report in the past 24 hours and 61 new positives. Then in Indian River County, where I am, four new deaths to report in the past 24 hours and 14 new positives. Now for the zip codes, 32960, one new positive to report in 32960. That's on the uh, west side of the Intracoastal Waterway. And over here on the Barrier Island, Two new positives to report in zip code 32963. All right, let's slide over here now to take a look at these moving averages. Here are the seven-day moving averages. Today, the moving average is 111.29. Tuesday, it was 119. Monday, it was 122. Sunday, it was 129.57. Saturday, it was 143. Friday, it was 159. And it was 163 on Thursday. So we've been steadily coming down. Unfortunately, that 181 yesterday didn't do us any good, and neither did this uh, 148. So these numbers may start going back up again. Now let me take you to the chart that I made, and we'll take a look at that, and you'll have a better idea of what that's all about. So here's the chart as of today, corrected for today. Down here you'll see it, the uh, 111.29. So yes, it's continuing to fall, although it's flattening out a little bit as we've come down here. It started flattening out over here on 823. So there we go. But now we started keeping track of these back here on 818 when it was 169.86. So uh, we're still on the downward trend, and that's a good thing. The global cases, let's take a look at the global cases right now for the USA, 5,788,185. USA deaths, 178,578. Global cases over here, 23,936,026. And global deaths down here, that would be 820,438. Sorry, I could have fixed that for you so you can see it just a little bit better. There you go. There. Okay. That's a little bit better. 820,438. Those are the numbers for today, Wednesday, the 26th of August at about 1115 in the morning. Alrighty, so you saw the numbers. I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on at the beach market. The beach market is closed for major renovations until late October. They closed last week. They will be operating a food truck for deli items and pre-prepared food. That's according to Jason. I saw him this morning over there. And I'm popping up a little video. You'll see this video running here in the background to see exactly what's going on. They have, like, totally gutted the inside of the building. I mean, it is just everything is out of the building. All the groceries are gone. All the shelves are gone. They're even digging up the floor. You'll see the, the uh, little uh, bulldozer there trying to get up the floor and so forth. It's going to be a completely new operation. Uh, they spend a lot of money on it to make it really nice. So the beach market is... Everybody here that lives on the island has been going to the beach market for 40 years. Uh, it isn't necessarily where we always do our major shopping, but boy, I'll tell you, when you need something in a hurry, the beach market is where you need to go. And uh, nice folks, Jason is a very nice guy over there. They always have uh, the items you need. I, I seldom go in there that they don't have what we want. So right now, today, when you see this, the uh, uh, deli truck is not there. He said it would probably be there sometime early next week. I don't anticipate it opening up before the end of October, um, maybe, well, well, I would say somewhere middle to the end of October. Their, their target date was the 1st of October, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's, he said sometime in October. Uh, a lot of work to do in there. And then I uh, wanted to just say another thing about the uh, Tides Restaurant here in Vero Beach. They're celebrating 20 year, their 20-year 20 anniversary. That's Chef Leanne Kelleher. Uh, just the best chef in town. Really, for 20 years, at least 10 of those 20 years, maybe 15 of the 20 years, it's been the number one restaurant in Vero Beach. There's no question about it. She's got Claudia there. I mean, she and uh, Leanne and Claudia are really the best. They, they're they terrific. And you got Greg, the bartender, who, who's been around for a long time there. When you walk in, he has your drink ready for you. If you've been there once or twice before, he knows exactly who you are. And then, of course, there's Val. Val's been around for a long time. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Uh, Val was married to Yannick Martin. Now, a lot of you folks don't know who Yannick Martin is. 
Well, he was 78 years old when he passed away, and he had a landmark restaurant here in town. It was called Café du Soir. He also had uh, Maison Martinique. Uh, where did that come from? How about his name? Uh, and so, actually, Leanne worked for, if I'm not mistaken, Leanne worked for uh, Chef Yannick Martin. He was the best. Uh, by the way, the, uh, Ch- Chef Yannick, Café de Soie, Café de Soie was the best restaurant in town uh, at the time. It was uh, best, basically the number one restaurant in town and it had been for many, many, many years. As long as he had it, it was the number one restaurant. He and Val ran that restaurant. And I personally have known both of them since, oh, way down in the, in the Fort Pierce days when they were working at a, together working at a restaurant down there. But he was fabulous. And as I said, Leanne Kelleher, this is all about Leanne's place. Leanne Kelleher uh, opened the Tides 20 years ago and is going strong and has been consistently good and she constantly reinvents herself. I'm not getting paid for any of this, folks, so don't get excited and don't start sending me nasty emails saying, you said it wasn't going to be commercial. It's not commercial. I'm giving you some information. If you don't live here, you want to try the Tides. If you do live here, you need to be going back. And she's remade herself. She's got outside dining and inside. She's got all sorts of stuff going on over there. Plus, she has a little uh, uh, mercantile thing going on there for all kinds of goodies. So anyway, just wanted to let you know that... Uh, uh, that is, that's their anniversary, their 20th anniversary. It would have been nice if they could have had a really nice celebration. Uh, but the pandemic is going on, and that's not going to happen. So we got through this pretty good today. Uh, I want to th- say that uh, <laughs> a couple of things I don't want you to do is, I mentioned this before, don't be a COVID idiot. Don't do that. Please don't be a COVID idiot. And uh, as we get to the, um, oh, I wanted to say one other thing about this. Uh, Yonique Martin, the, the chef at the, uh, and that's Val's former husband when he passed, after he passed away. He actually taught Julia Child how to make French omelet in the 1960s when she was starting out on her famous TV show, The French Chef. Now, that's a little bit of useless information that you probably didn't know. So, as I always say every day at this time, always be a part of the solution and never part of the problem. Please do that. That's an important thing. Push the like button if you haven't done yet that yet. And then, always say, please have a very blessed Wednesday. Please, please, please. I hope you have a very blessed Wednesday. Have a terrific day. I look forward to seeing you back here on Thursday. Ron Kreider, checking out.